So I'd like to thank the organizers for uh, instigating such a, a useful and interesting meeting. Um, so uh, Oxford Biomedica was a, a, is a UK biopharmaceutical company listed on the main market of the London Stock Exchange. We have a broad platform of technologies in gene delivery and immunotherapy uh, addressing neurodegenerative diseases, ocular disorders, and oncology. We have uh, six uh, programs uh, using our lentiviral vector technology, and four of these are in uh, the clinic. Uh, in addition, we have five programs targeting an oncofetal antigen uh, called uh, 5T4. Uh, we have a strong IP portfolio with uh, multiple partnerships for products, services, and uh, technologies. So with Lenti technology, we're uh, using that in ophthalmology and uh, CNS. Uh, retinostat is a treatment for wet AMD, uh, and there's a phase one uh, clinical trial ongoing at the moment. We've completed dosing the 21 patients and are now, fo now following up. Stargen and Ashtat are classic gene therapy where you're uh, administering a correct version of uh, a mutated gene, and these have been partnered uh, with uh, Sanofi, and they're in phase one, uh, two clinical trials at the moment. Uh, Oncostat is a corneal graft uh, um, uh, that has been engineered to, re to resist uh, rejection, and through some UK uh, government funding, Innovate UK, this will be in the clinic uh, early next year. And we are working with the Mayo Clinic to, deliver, to de develop a therapy for uh, glaucoma. In CNS, uh, we're targeting Parkinson's disease, our, uh, a vector called uh, ProSavin. Uh, the phase one, two clinical trial has completed, and this was published in the Lancet earlier this year, and we're also uh, developing therapies for, a therapy for uh, motor neuron disease, uh, ALS. Uh, with regard to the 5T4 technology, using uh, an MVA uh, um, vaccine approach, we have a number of phase two clinical trials ongoing, and through a collaboration with Pfizer, they're, they're running a phase one clinical trial targeting 5T4 using an antibody. And uh, we have a collaboration with Imaginab using uh, a similar approach, but for imaging. Uh, in addition, uh, in the research uh, stage, we're targeting 5T4 using bispecific antibodies or a CAR-T approach. So the approach we've taken at Oxford Biomedical with regard, with regard to intellectual property is uh, to ensure that we have uh, freedom to operate. Uh, and we have over 60 patents and uh, patent applications in the key, key jurisdictions. They cover the use and production of all antiviral vectors, so the therapeutic genes that we employ in our products, uh, the envelope that is used to coat the viral particles, the manufacturing uh, process, the products themselves. And, and in addition, we have uh, 17 years uh, of accumulated know-how and materials, and our out-licensing activity underpins the high value of the IP. Um, we were the first group, the first company, to develop a, a Lenti uh, that was directly administered in, into patients. In order to do that, we had to develop a, a, a manufacturing process that could generate uh, high-quality vector, high con highly concentrated. We had to develop the characterization assays, the release assays that were re required uh, to gain clinical approval. Um, and uh, we, we did that, and the first clinical trial started with the prosavina Parkinson's disease program in 2008, and uh, we have now, as I say, four products in, in the clinic. Uh, these have been carried out in the UK, France, and in the US. Uh, they involve the in vivo delivery into the eye or into the brain and we've treated over 50 patients, uh, and uh, it's been safe and well-tolerated with no IMP-related SAEs, and we're out to over five years at the moment. Um, we made a decision a few years ago uh, to, uh, that it was important to co control uh, product supply and manufacturing, uh, so we purchased a manufacturing facility near our main office in, in Oxford, and that was refurbished and received MHRA approval for uh, GMP manufacture for clinical supply. Uh, we have a manufacturing collaboration uh, with Novartis that was signed in uh, May two, 2013, and, and that's bringing revenue into the company. In addition, we have a grant loan of around seven million pounds uh, uh, from the UK government's Advanced Manufacturing Supply Chain Initiative uh, to increase the capacity uh, the, uh, at our manufacturing plant and also to impl improve the manufacturing process. 
Uh, this slide is up to show that uh, assays are, are critical to um, developing these lentiviral products and uh, we retain the ability to develop new assays, characterize them, um, uh, qualify them and, uh, and validate them. Um, at Biomedical, we're focused on the next generation of uh, manufacturing development and to that end, we're investing in automated high throughput cell line uh, generation, uh, vector design and optimization, as well as media process and analytical uh, development. Our, our aim is to move to a serum-free suspension uh, um, uh, producer cell line um, uh, in the near future. And the reason we're doing this is because of the utility of the lentiviral vector system. It allows for efficient and stable uh, long-term expression. Um, after transduction, the uh, vector integrates into the target cells. So if the cells go on to divide, you maintain that phenotype. And we've, uh, we've uh, not seen any uh, phenotypic sh uh, shutdown in terms of expression. They also have a large capacity, so you can deliver multiple genes or, or large genes. And we've seen no toxicity or adverse immune uh, reactions at the therapeutic dose levels. And because it's a platform approach, the preclinical, the non-clinical, and the clinical data can be used to support uh, further product uh, development and, and s accelerate that. Um, so I've spoken uh, about those products. Um, I, I'd just like to say about Oncostat. So this is a corneal uh, 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 a genetically engineered cornea that uh, uh, prevents blood vessel formation. By preventing blood vessel formation after engraftment, you prevent immune cells entering into the graft and, and rejecting it. And we have a UK uh, a grant uh, from Innovate UK to fund the clinical trial, which is happening uh, uh, early next year. So uh, for, the, for the retinostat uh, clinical trial, this is uh, for the treatment of uh, 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 wet AMD. Um, we, this is a dose escalation with uh, three patients per cohort group and a final uh, confirmatory group uh, of 12 patients, and we've completed dosing. Um, so there's a subretinal delivery of the vector that expresses two antiangiogenic genes, endostatin and angiostatin. And what we can do, because these are secreted proteins, is to take small volumes of liquid from the front of the eye and look to see if these proteins are uh, present. And uh, so you can see here the cohort one in, in the, the blue line uh, uh, showing an expression of endostatin and, and angiostatin uh, over, over time. And if we increase the dose uh, tenfold, we get a further tenfold increase in the amount of protein uh, being expressed. If we increase the dose again to cohorts three and four, which is a threefold increase in dose, we get a further uh, threefold increase in expression. Also, you, you, you notice that the uh, level of expression is similar across the patients within a cohort, uh, even though this is done across three different sites using three different uh, surgeons. So it's, it's very robust and, and, and reproducible. In addition, the level of expression is out, uh, this is out to 50 weeks, and uh, the duration of expression has been maintained. And we will be monitoring these patients for uh, five years, um, uh, if possible, in order to obtain data about the lo longevity of expression, which would be, I think, important in, t in terms of reimbursement in, in the future. Uh, in terms of our Parkinson's program, uh, so Parkinson's disease is the uh, second most common neurodegenerative uh, condition, uh, 4 million patients globally, and, and this is set to increase. Uh, Parkinson's disease is caused by a lack of dopamine in an area of the brain called the striatum. What we're seeking to do is uh, to administer a lentiviral vector into that area of the brain and uh, genetically modify the cells of the striatum uh, to give them the ability to manufacture, to make dopamine. So we're delivering three genes uh, to encode for three uh, enzymes. And uh, what we found is that in non-clinical studies, we get 80% uh, of correction and that's an expression duration is maintained. So we carried out a clinical trial in 15 patients in France and the UK. Uh, and. Uh, We've published this, uh, the 12-month follow-up data on, on all the patients. We've seen um, encouraging signs of uh, dopaminergic activity, especially in the highest dose group, improvements in the uh, uh, UPDRS part three off score. Uh, patients have had to reduce their normal L-DOPA medication because uh, of the dopamine provision from the vector, improvements in the on score, and using PET imaging, we were able to show a normalization to a degree of the dopamine uh, receptors. So the vector was safe, well tolerated. Uh, the degree of efficacy, though, was around 30%, and we felt that uh, 
this uh, was not a commercially viable level of I improvement. Uh, so what we've sought to do is um, engineer an, an improved version of the vector called OXP102. And by changing the gene order of the vectors, by fusing some of the gene, the gene order of the genes, and fusing some of the genes together, we're able to increase the amount of dopamine made per integrated uh, copy about five to tenfold. And in uh, and, uh, uh, efficacy studies, we've been able to demonstrate a, an improved uh, degree of uh, uh, pro uh, dopamine uh, production. We've received a grant from the UK government, the Innovate UK, of 2.2 million, and this will enter the clinic uh, later on next year, uh, late next year or early in 2016. Um, so, in summary, uh, lentiviral vector-based vector gene therapy provides stable, long-term expression, which is ideal for ex vivo modification as well as in vivo administration. Uh, Oxford Biomedica offers research and development of vector systems, product candidates, uh, lentivector IP and know-how, uh, clinical and regulatory expertise, with over 50 patients treated in, in three different uh, jurisdictions. Uh, we have process development for phase one, two, and beyond, and importantly, we offer industrialization of the manufacturing process. Thank you.